let's get into the Hall of Fame class uh, for the players side of things. What do you think makes it so unique, obviously, than uh, other than Rivera's selection as unanimous? You know what? I thought all four players that we elected were great stories in their own right. Uh, like Mariano, I, I, I understand that Willie Mays and Babe Ruth and Ken Griffey and uh, probably a dozen other guys should have been unanimous before him, but one of the things I think this makes totally clear is that the gap between him and whoever you think is the second best closer of all time is so wide. It might be wider than at any other position in baseball or in sports. So it was impossible for anybody to find a reason not to vote for Mariano Rivera. And thank God we put an end to the dopiest tradition in sports. <laughs> Mike Messina, I, you know, I'm I'm thrilled that he made it. I voted for it for a long time. Uh, I, I, he was the biggest drama of the day. Wasn't sure if he would get there. Made it by seven votes. Edgar, I have voted for for a decade. I wrote a book a decade ago uh, on the most overrated and underrated players of all time. Edgar was my most underrated DH. I may have to revise that chapter. Uh, an incredible offensive force. And then there's the Roy Halladay story. Mm. All the joy mixed with all the sadness. Um, I, I still don't know how to process that he's not going to be there next July. Yeah, I know. Obviously, you spent many, many moon in Philadelphia. What, 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 what do you think that's going to be like with with Halliday and his family, and obviously um, the fact that he went down in a in a single pilot plane crash a couple of years uh, ago, Jason? That, well, um, it's going to be so emotional. You know, if you if you listen to his wife Brandy speak yesterday at the gathering of of Hall of Famers, uh, she's amazing and so eloquent and thoughtful and well spoken and honest. And you know, I'm I'm assuming it will be it'll it'll fall to her to speak that day, and I can't imagine there'll be a dry eye in the house because she's amazing. Um, hmm. You know, he, 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 was, he was really a special individual, and you, you can see that reflected in his family, and it'll be reflected on that day. Uh, it just, it's just not fair that he won't be there. I, you know, I've mentioned this before, but we've never really experienced this, any of us. Uh, it's been 83 years since there was any player who got elected on the first ballot and was not alive to enjoy it. Christy Mathewson in the very first Hall of Fame election ever is the only other one. Yeah, I mean, my only recollection of all the Hall of Fames I've done with uh, with the Pro Football Hall of Fame, where a first the first ballot selection not there, it's happened twice. Uh, Reggie White and Junior Seau, Jason, yeah. and, it, and it is really. Um, it's really emotional, and it's it's a it is a mixture of all the emotions of exhilaration and profound sadness, you know, and yep. and um, that is going to be part of your weekend, and obviously at the at the Hall of Fame. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.